Hey YouTube Auto here. So we've had some interest in the diving platform on the on the XR. And so I'm gonna show you all how this is done. Um, if you try to put the diving platform down right away by itself, it's not gonna fit. And the reason it won't go is because you've got you've got a handful of pieces here that are in the way. Okay, so what you have to tear off is you have to tear off the rail. Okay, tear the rail off tear this floor piece off, tear this floor piece off, and tear this floor piece off. Okay, so that's four pieces, three floors and the rail, and the reverse on the other side if you want it on the other side. Okay, and then come in here, put your diving platform down, okay, and then go back, put these pieces back, right, and then it's on. Okay, it works. Now what I did on this one is I tore this wall out and I put a door here and I rearranged the shop so that the door could go here without it interfering with the rest of the ship okay with the rest of the, the, the shop area in here you can see I moved the food larder over here first off I moved the resource bin right there and I moved the cabinet there um, because this cabinet was more friendly with the rear wall and this one was more friendly with the plank I move the food larder here. I shove the bag in there. You can still easily still reach the grill, the bag, the food larder, right? I put my library over here because it's more slim and I didn't want to block the doorway. I want it to be easy access in here. And then there's your ammo box. Um, as far as your bed goes, you can put your bed up top here. Um, or you can keep it down here if you want. You can walk straight through the bed, really. Uh, it's not going to get in the way. You know, see, for those wanting to see this, see, you can walk straight through the bed. Um, I generally don't keep a bed right in front of the doorway, though. That's just me. Um, it, but if you guys want to, you know, you can totally have at it. Okay. Um, I'd probably stick the bed up here instead. Um, that way it's out of the way. And you're not, like, walking over top of it every time. Okay, actually, I kind of want my guy face the other way. That way he's not staring at the cannon, but that works for me. Okay, and so now the shop is different, but you get a door directly to your diving platform. Now, obviously, if you're a temp diver, um, you're not really like a huge enthusiast or anything. You're just going to dive once in a while. You'll carry a diving platform on your ship in case you need to use it. Um, just be mindful. You can't just throw it down. Um, because it's going to be there's going to be a conflict here and so you have to tear up those four pieces every single time you want to put the platform down so I just put the platform down put the four pieces back right and then pop those out and put a floor piece there you can run more floor across here just be mindful it's eight pounds for every piece of floor you run and so you could easily run out four pieces and then even cover the thing in a rail if you want it just depends you know if whether you PvP or PvE Odds are, though, if you're PvP, you're probably natural diving. That's what I do. I just spec into the swim trees, the oxygen and the water uh, temp trees, and uh, at least the first two. And I definitely try to get all three swimming, but the other two, I just kind of go the first two, save you some points. And then I just natural dive. Um, I've gotten down, and I've, in fact, never had a problem getting all the way down and getting to the um, treasure um, I know some people have, but I think those that have are probably too heavy. Um, their character's probably too heavy, or they're not specced um, into your swimming and stuff. The swimming makes you quite a bit faster. So that's just what I do, but it's totally up to you guys. I know some people like the diving platform. We had some interest on the channel, and so I decided to put this together to show you guys how it's done. All right, y'all. Like, subscribe, share. I'll see you in the next.